All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Patter Tisman, Log TV and Choo Choo, and let's get started with today's video. All right, it's time for some Jack Wolf knives, guys. This is going to be a fun video. I'll explain it in a minute, but this is the Knives Fast channel. If you are not subscribed, hit that subscribe notification bell. Stick around and check Knives Fast out over on Instagram as well well so you guys know uh this video is dropping uh right around the time that the jack wolf knives pioneer jack uh is dropping at dealers which is friday um it's the shoot the 22nd of september 2023 at all the normal dealers and we'll have the dealer list down below this is a gorgeous sodbuster style knife from Jack Wolf Knives, they are running $300. There is this blue dark matter fat carbon. There's Ultim. There is a black uh, DLC coated uh, jig titanium with a black blade. There is a plain uh, gray titanium with uh, like this with uh, the the um, shoot the satin blade. I think it might be hand hand satin on that one, but you'll have to look on the website to make sure. And there is Toxic Storm as well. So uh, really, really cool uh, that these are coming. But what I thought I would do, we will go through and give kind of my thoughts on this knife here in just a minute. But what I thought we would do, you can see there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven knives on the table. This is a look at the seven blue fat carbon uh, Jack Wolf knives in my collection. So... That's what we're going to do, and then we will give our thoughts on the Pioneer Jack. I mean, I will give my thoughts. We, we will not because you're not, yeah. Okay, so there is the Pioneer Jack, and again, we're going to circle back to that and give you more details in a minute. Now, here is the Feel Good Jack, one of the ones I have uh, in a Northwoods leather slip. By the way, I have uh, a Sage Grouse leather slip on order for uh, the Pioneer Jack. So, uh, guys, you know, no, no doubt, if you've watched this channel long enough, you know the Feel Good Jack, again, in the Dark Matter Blue as well, has turned in uh, to my favorite Jack Wolf knife. I just like the way it feels and fits in my hand. I like the way it cuts. I love the way it looks. Just a fantastic, fantastic knife. Now, this one's not in a slip. This is the Gunslinger. Uh, by the way, these two are in dark matter. I think the rest of these might be Arctic Storm. No, not all of them. Not all of them. Uh, we'll get there. Um, so this is, I believe, Arctic Storm, and just gorgeous. This is the only uh, no, excuse me, the only locking Jack Wolf knife so far. Uh, whoops! But there will be more. This is in a gunstock pattern. By the way, this is a doctor's knife, and this is sort of a sodbuster style pattern. Um, or worker, as a lot of people might call it. Uh, but in this case, this is a gun stock pattern, and it is a locking uh, bolster lock there. All right. The next one is uh, the Benny's Clip. All right. So this one is also in Arctic Storm, uh, and this is modeled after a Lanny's Clip, if you will. It is the one of the bigger uh, Jack Wolf knives. It's it's roughly the same size as the Gunslinger, but uh, the rest of the slip joints are smaller. You got this crazy clip point. Uh, really nice handle. Feels great in the hand. Love, love that one. All right, next we have what is still a favorite of mine. Uh, you know, I think it caught like mixed reviews, but to me, this one is fantastic. This is the Javelina, another clip point with that beautiful satin. Uh, and this one, um, shoot, I cannot remember the name of the, of the fat carbon, but this one is a camo carbon. I cannot remember if it's Damascus or it's uh, Brittany Blue. I think it might be Brittany Blue. Uh, but just a gorgeous uh, pattern here. Just uh, love the sort of pistol grip that you get out of this one with that downturn in the handle. Uh, very, very nice. All right. Next is the Venom Jack. Uh, this is a gorgeous Warncliffe uh, style blade. And I believe this one is in the Damascus, the dark matter 
Damascus. But I, you know, I'm sure Ben will correct me if he watches this. Uh, but anyway, uh, not dark matter, I'm sorry, camo carbon. So these two right here, so the, these are Arctic storm fat carbon. This is dark matter fat carbon blue. And these two are two different versions of camo carbon. Um, and look at that. Very gorgeous. And I love the kind of, um, he, he said this was sort of like a, um, a trapper sort of handle. Very, very cool. All right. And then last but not least in my blue, look at this collection of blue. Uh, yes, sir. And this is the one that, that um, decided to cut the crap out of me. Uh, it was my fault, not the knife's fault. Uh, this is, uh, wow, okay, could you focus? Too much going on on the table. This is the uh, vampire jack. You see here we got the coffin pattern back here uh, with the swell center. Love it. And this spear point is a favorite for me. And again, this one is also camo carbon. I cannot remember uh, the flavors of camo carbon. Uh, I apologize. Maybe I'll list them down below if I remember, but I probably won't because I won't remember. But they are all beautiful carbon fiber with blue in them. Look at that family picture of all the blue. Look at that, guys. Uh, that is sweet. Let's turn them. All right, let's see if we can do this without cutting myself. All right, we're going to pull these down. We're going to start with you. Wait, nope, we're going to start with you. Let's see if we can stack them this way where we can see them. All right, boom, boom, boom. All right, now I got a little bit of room here. Now I know what I'm doing. All right, so there you go, guys. There is a look at all the Jack Wolf. Uh, blue fat carbon knives in the Knives Fast collection. How about that? Uh, pretty dang sweet, if you ask me. Really, really cool. All right, let me just quickly get these off, and then we're going to go uh, further in uh, to my thoughts. That was there, that was there. Trying to make sure they get back in the same slips because they just fit better that way. And... Obviously, the gunslinger wasn't in a slip because I didn't get one for it yet. And I've been carrying it on the clip because it allows me to carry two at the time, uh, which I think is cool. All right. Now, let's talk about, let's put this back up here uh, with Jack there. Isn't that cool? Uh, love, love the artwork. Uh, this is a Sean Tiffany artwork this time around uh, with Jack as sort of a pioneer there. Very, very cool. Um, all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to talk a little bit about this particular model. Now, this is a, uh, you know, again, Ben doesn't call it a sod buster. He was creative and came up with his own name for it. Uh, but guys, basically what you've got here is you've got the first drop point uh, in a Jack Wolf, and this is definitely a sod buster pattern. But what I like is that Ben puts his own flair. Now, Blade-wise, it's, it's a very simple drop point, but he swedged it up all the way across the top here, which I think looks absolutely gorgeous. Now, this blade tends to be, um, let's see if I can find my cardboard over here, uh, a little bit thicker. Um, and by the way, this is some thick cardboard, speaking of thicker. Um, this blade is a, a little bit Whoa, okay. Uh, this car, I, I'm having trouble finding good cardboard. This cardboard is, um, for lack of a better term, very uh, sort of dry and garbage. All right, here we go. Here's a good one. Um, and so, uh, yeah, you can see just very, very good. Now, what I like about it is, um, you again, you have a very slicey blade. It is very robust, though. You can see the tip stays thicker longer. Uh, most of the jackals, let's just randomly pick, uh, I'll tell you what, let's pick the javelina. You can see there inside the clothes. Let me, I'll be, I'm being really careful so as not to cut myself on camera, but you can see this stays thicker. Uh, longer towards the tip. See how that gets really thin there towards the tip, and this one stays thicker. Now, uh, let's pick another example here. Where is my... Um, yeah, this is a really good example. So if you look at the feel-good, see how it gets really thin down here towards the tip. 
Uh, and that's not even even the thinnest one. Some of the, where was the one we were talking about? There you go. You can see on the Vampire Jack just gets, uh, come on. There's just so much stuff on the table here. Um, but you can see it gets really thin. This one stays thicker towards the tip. And I feel like it's more of a worker because of that. Now, uh, guys, I love what he did with the handle here. Now, let's talk about that. Um, it, it swells out at the bottom here. And it really locks you in. And again, it gives you that feeling of sort of a pistol grip like I get from the Javelina or the K9 um, or the or the um, the Cyborg. Uh, very cool. Now, you got a great place to land here. You do have a good sharpening choil. Gorgeous looking blade. Now, uh, the only thing, I wouldn't call this a negative. The only thing that, that I'd like to point out is I'm not good with nail nicks. I keep my thumbnails kind of short, and so it works. Uh, you can see I can do it, but I prefer a pinchable one, and this one's a little harder for me to pinch, so I kind of have to use my thumbnail, and I'm hoping I'm not shredding it off, but um, it's not so heavy that I'm doing that. Now, I know everybody's different on that. I just prefer the pinchable ones. Now, I can pinch it like you see, um, but it's just not quite as easy as some of them. Uh, but man, that walk and talk, uh, it is pretty, listen, awesome. I would call that a seven all day long. Um, and I am sorry for the, I don't know what's happening. Let's back the light up a little bit. There's a lot of stuff on the table. Let me, let me clear a couple things off here. That always helps. I just have so much stuff laying here. Uh, it just gets tough, but really cool looking pattern in my opinion you guys everybody loves a sod buster and i think this is just a fantastic representation of the pattern you do have the triple fluted bolster again as usual fit and finish is ridiculously great um and it chamfered off on the edges really nice you can't feel the transitions uh really really good and look no gapping no anything and I, what i love back here is the faceting that he did on, uh, again, he, he makes everything his on the back spring there. Very, very nicely done. Um, well, you kind of saw it with a bunch of others, but uh, let's, let's just put a couple more back up here uh, to give you some size comparisons. Uh, let's go with a big one with the Benny's clip. So there you go. There's the Benny's clip. There is the Pioneer Jack. There is uh, the uh, Feel Good. And lastly, there is the Venom. So there are some size comparisons. Let's move the light out here where you can see a little bit better. Yeah, very, very nice. Uh, beautiful, beautiful knives. Uh, absolutely. You know what? I'm going to leave that right there for now. Beautiful knives. Uh, really good. All right, let's uh, close these back up. Whoops, not that one. I want to leave that one out, Casey. Yeah, now I've got them all out of order. I had done so well at keeping them in order so I could put them back in the right slip, but now I have no idea. So we'll just have to figure it out here. Uh, if It doesn't really matter in some cases, um, but it is what it is. All right, there we go. So let's put this guy back out of here and let's talk some details. Now, these are dropping, as I said on um, the 22nd of September, 2023, at um, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern at Dealers. The dealer list will be listed below. Um, again, uh, there's the Pioneer Jack and Ultim. Uh, there's the Titanium with Hand Satin. There's the Fat Carbon Toxic Storm. There's the Fat Carbon Dark Matter Blue, like this one. And there is the uh, Black DLC Jigged. A titanium with a black blade. They're all $2.99. Now, specs-wise, um, this guy in particular is, by the way, it's S90V steel, which all the ones have been recently. 3.79-inch uh, closed, uh, 2.93 blade uh, length, cutting edge is 2.67. The blade stock is 3 millimeter or 0.12. Uh, the weight is 2.4 ounces. The hardness is 60 to 61. These are made in China China, and uh, designed by Ben Belkin here in the U.S. Um, and they're just a great little discreet 
uh, pocket carry with a lot of elegance. I love all the titanium here on the frame and the beautiful uh, dark matter blue fat carbon. Uh, just a wonderful, whoops, got to move the light back, sorry. A wonderful, wonderful knife. Uh, really, really cool. So Ben has killed it again, and I have gone way over, but this is kind of a double duty video, if you will. Um, so hopefully you guys will forgive me for uh, running long and being more like Kevin here, uh, lefty EDC. So, um, but I wanted to show off all of my blue uh, Jack Wolfs and talk about the Pioneer. So don't forget the drop. Also, don't forget the giveaway. Uh, it is still running. So if you go over to Jack Wolf Knives on Instagram, you can enter the giveaway. I believe it will still be running when this drops. Uh, don't hold me to that. It may be ended by then, but I think it will. So definitely. And also go check out the Jack Wolf Knives Worldwide Facebook group. Very, very cool. And uh, thanks to Ben for being on the live stream this past Monday night. And don't forget, guys, Monday nights, 7.45 p.m. Eastern, KF Live. We have a lot of fun. So, yeah, Jack Wolf Knives feel, I mean, excuse me, Pioneer Jack. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, cool knife. So, guys, check out the channel. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. And thank you so much for watching the Long-Winded Knives Fast channel.